The Atlantic Ocean is getting wider by a couple of inches a year, shoving the Americas to one side and Europe and Africa to the other. It wasn't very clear how, but scientists now think that they have a better idea of what's going on. Tectonic plates are those rocky jigsaw pieces that form Earth's crust and are responsible for the movement of continents throughout hundreds of millions of years. It's not easy to study tectonic movement and the processes that occur beneath the Earth's crust because you can't just open up the Earth and peer inside. But scientists have a way of indirectly imaging the inside of our planet. In 2016, a group of researchers set sail on a research vessel to an area of the Atlantic Ocean known as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The ridge is the Earth's largest tectonic boundary, or place where tectonic plates diverge. There they deployed 39 seismometers, which are instruments that detect seismic waves or vibrations from earthquakes from around the world. The seismometer sunk to the bottom of the ocean floor and listened to these vibrations for a year. In 2017, the researchers returned to the ridge to pick them up. Since seismic waves behave differently depending on the material they move through, the researchers could use the data to create images, allowing them to peer inside various layers of the Earth. They found that an area called the mantle transition zone, which divides the upper and lower layers of the mantle, was thinner than average, which likely means it was hotter than normal. The researchers interpreted that to mean that the hotter layer likely facilitated an upwelling of hot rock from Earth's lower mantle to its upper mantle, and they concluded that this process likely played a role in pushing the plates apart. Researchers previously thought that plates mainly diverged from each other due to a pulling at subduction zones or places where plates collide and one sinks beneath the other. But now it seems it's possible that along with this pulling, there's also a bit of pushing on the ridges. Researchers who were not involved with the work applauded the data but said that other explanations for the warmth of the transition zone are possible and that the findings need to be replicated elsewhere before we change how we view tectonic movement. It's not clear if this is true along the entire Mid-Atlantic Ridge or other ridges. 